Hey guys, it's the 19th, so it's time for another update on Archer Engine, as I do monthly updates on the 19th, or as close to it as we can get, but I've been pretty consistent for the last few months. The only big change this month was really that we changed the project structure. It is now a CMake project. This is no longer a Visual Studio Windows only, and I tested compiling on Linux Mint as well as Windows, so it seems to work pretty good. There are some new instructions for... Uh, using they're not perfect if you want to update them you can that's supposed to have some data there must have not got merged yeah there's some uh windows instructions the windows side still assumes you have vc pkg installed uh, to get the libraries but it should just work automatically as long as you've got it installed which is pretty simple you basically just go clone it and you do a bootstrap and then that's pretty much it um but look at their instructions. For Linux, all you gotta do is uh, basically apt get this whole line of stuff, which is just required libraries, and then you can just build it. Um, you use CMake, but I made a little Linux build thing to auto handle it. And then you can run the FPP demo, drag in a model, and fly around and look at it. Windows is the same thing. Now I've noticed there's some shader error on Linux, at least on my machine. It might be my video card, but things look a little weird on Linux, but it runs fine. So. Yeah, that's uh, that's basically where it is. Uh, do you guys want to see a run of it? Cool, I'll show you. So we're just going to open up our command line, go to our E drive. Or actually, it's our D drive. And then uh, source, archer, and oh, it didn't switch drives. There we go. No change directory needed for that one. We should be able to just go CMake. Let's go out. Build has the folder and the source is here. It doesn't recognize it because I don't have CMake installed and added to my path. Okay, well, it's all set up through Visual Studio. All you gotta do is uh, continue without code, go to File, Open, CMake, and navigate your path, find your top level CMake and open it. And uh, Visual Studio just has CMake installed as some kind of extension, I suppose. I'm not actually entirely sure, but uh, it will handle all running all the commands for you and it'll generate a little config for you and stuff like that so just an ide that can be handy so we're on the windows cmake branch and i am going to well there's only one executable in here right now and that's this fpp demo but this also requires the library to be built which is uh the top level main project and it's all these files which i've lazily done glob recurse on everything I know, I know. Don't add me. But then we just add the library right there, and uh, the example is that FPP. More examples to come. You're welcome to, you know, anyone's welcome to hack on this. You want to add examples, fix the test. There's a lot of stuff to be done, uh, in case that isn't obvious, but, you know, one thing at a time. I think this next month, planning on focusing on some dynamic shaders and improving those, and we might pop in a different render because OpenGL is, is fine, but. I want to play around with some other stuff too. Well, anyway, that's the top level CMake. Let's just run this demo and I'll drag in a model. So I'm just going to find a random model on my machine. I've got a bunch in here that I've saved over time. Oh, there's the window. It says editor. It's not a true editor. Sure, I'd like to turn it into one, but I haven't even put... I should put like a little interface in here. It'd actually be easy with I'm GUI or something. Just like a file menu where you could go open and, and do some stuff. You know, there's a lot of uh, things I need done on this editor, obviously. Anyway, I'm going to bring in this, uh, I guess this rifle. This is an OBJ. And there it is. And we should be able to fly around it. Uh, right click gets you in and out of the first person control mode. Okay. And, uh, you know, yeah, it'd be cool. We could turn this into a little editor, start putting the interface stuff in here, the old ad skybox, all the little tools to edit things. And it would basically just be a forwarding operation because all those functions are still in source. Or, uh, well, the function definitions are going to include interface. So that's basically everything you can do with the engine is right here. But I'm rambling on. So that's all I really did was get it working with CMake. Uh, the tests haven't been forwarded. Yeah, they used to work on Windows, but I need to uh, change that to a more universal system. So the code's all there. I just haven't even put a CMake list on there and edited things to get it working. But I'm probably, I don't, I don't know how much spend, time I'm going to spend on this, this next month. Um, if I do, I'm just going to be toying around with some things that I think maybe I talked about already. A little shader stuff, maybe mess with some interface, get the unit tests going. But it's all it's all up in the air. If anyone's watching this and thinks, uh, you know, I'd like to hack on that a little bit, feel free. The code's up on GitHub. Um, 
yeah, it's just a free and open project uh, that I'm going to try my best to keep that way as long as we don't run into any issues with it. I, I don't know why we would, but just trying to think out loud. Well, anyway, I've also been uh, messing with Unreal Engine a lot. So I've been uh, kind of messing with animations, learning more about animations. So I will show you some of that. Uh, basically, I've got some uh, builds of one kind of sample I was working on and I got seven different versions so I got I've worked on it for basically seven eight days straight and uh, version zero was the first initialization of it so let's look at that this is gonna be terrible don't worry but it's, it was it was day one a knit of the project looked like this uh, okay there it is so you can see we got some basic movement in and we got a Sun that uh, kind of cascades or whatever a little day night cycle all right, let's jump forward a few versions to version three. It's kind of making some daily improvements, learning some stuff. I think I might have imported this SWAT guy. Yep, this guy from Mixamo. I tried to mess with my own set of animations to see how I could get him to look, and it was feeling kind of okay. There were some oddities here and there, but overall it was mostly okay. The uh, crouching needed some work, but you can see we are in a new terrain, a little sample terrain, and uh, still a day-night cycle. I was kind of tweaking this day-night cycle a lot. It gets a little too dark maybe, but whatever, it's just a demo. So let's uh, let's go to the last version. Here's where it was when I left off. In this oh, never mind. We never got that build. I guess we got version six. Never version seven. Never built. Well, anyway, the project had a bit of an error. I was trying to use some uh, version control stuff, and I accidentally removed all my model and animation files somehow. So the project's still there and just chilling, but. Uh, it needs all the models re-imported, and it should work again. But also, it's not that big of a deal. I can recreate this amount of movement in this daylight cycle. It was pretty simple. It was a great learning experience. But uh, I kind of got the crouch worked out. Tried to get the night and day working a little better. Uh, this is kind of a fast cycle here. But I also put a light on the player. It doesn't cast shadows. And I thought it looked okay. We can do all the things you would want to do, and there's really no major glitches in the movement so I was pretty happy with the movement at this point but I think I did still improve a few other things and if it was day all the time I could keep sampling it more but it keeps going tonight because I have the day night cycle really fast on this build but anyway um there's also you're kind of locked into this initial area and I was maybe gonna put some initial gameplay here or something that was kind of the idea and then you can go well beyond further into the terrain later so it was actually a pretty big kind of open world style map going on here but i don't really know what the gameplay was going to be i was going to make a little story kind of skyrim-esque random i don't know bs i didn't really have an exact idea but that was where i would go next if uh i went with it maybe copy some stuff from a D, &D campaign that happened once or something like that that's always fun so that's what I spent most of my time messing with. I uh, have a new project I've been working on called Mandon. It's it's nothing. It's just a throwaway project. But I've been once again messing with movement, adding some attacks, some kicks, and some landing animations, and kind of trying to make it look a little better. But uh, ultimately, just another throwaway project. And you can see this is another model from Mixmo. But I wanted to really learn and understand their animation system and it's way harder than you would think there's a lot to it there's quite a few options here in unreal i've been using the animation states for the most part and going from there and just making a state machine all these variables for if you're moving and how you're moving and it feels weird i i feel like there's got to be a better way but there is some pretty cool stuff i've learned along the way like uh, you can make these functions and you can call these functions in any of these so once i figured that out i kind of learned how to uh, make the animations play as long as i wanted and that sort of stuff and put variables around these functions but it becomes kind of code spaghetti after a while it felt like so i uh i don't know what i'm gonna do from here but i plan on researching animation and stuff with unreal a lot more in my uh, spare time and we'll see where this goes if you want builds of these games, um, I'm going to post them somewhere on my Patreon so patrons can have access to these as they come out. They're, of course, no, you know, they're not releases. They're just little samples, but I might as well do something with them, and I can at least do that. Well, uh, there's also another slot on the Patreon for uh, tutoring and stuff, basically just meeting with me once a month uh, for an hour. There's one more slot available, so... Uh, whoever wants that. Cool. All right. Well, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.